today. Why in the world would Mrs. Hall have a piece of celery? And better yet, why would Mrs. Hall take a bite of celery for our reading today? Well, I want to read to you guys a story. It's titled Living Sunlight by Molly Bing and Penny Chisholm. And I think that we'll get some clues about the details of why Mrs. Hall is eating celery today. It says, listen to me, do this one thing. Lay your hand over your heart and feel. Feel your heart pump, pump, pump. Feel how warm you are. That is the sun's light alive in you. I am your sun, your golden star. I burn. My light energy explodes in all directions. Most fades into endless space. But some tiny, tiny part of my light falls on your small planet, Earth. I warm your land and seas, melt your glaciers, create your winds. I do all this, but I do far, far more. My light becomes the energy for all the earth, all living things, including you, pulse with the sun's light. And they keep it circling round and round on earth. How do living things do this? What is the sun's secret? Well, the secret starts in plants, just like this one. Plants suck up water, which is called H2O, from the earth. In daylight, green plants catch these, the sun's energy with their chlorophyll. Then, kazap! Plants use the energy to break apart the water, break the H2O into hydrogen and oxygen. But as plants break apart the water, they trap the energy in as little packets. Look at that. Meanwhile, plants are breathing. Yes, plants breathe. Can you believe that? They breathe out oxygen. They broke off from the water and they breathe in carbon dioxide from the air. Now plants use the packet of the sun's energy and the carbon dioxide from the air to build, what does it build? Let's see, to build sugar. And with the sugar, plants build all their parts, all the leaves and stems and juices all the seeds and fruit and flowers, all of the plants on earth are built with sugar made from air and water using the sun's light. This is called, it's a really big word, photosynthesis. Say that with me again, photosynthesis. Wow. Making life with sunlight, the sun's light, this is the gift of the sun's energy to you. But wait, you're not green, are you? I don't think so. You have no leaves, no chlorophyll. You cannot catch the sun's light and neither can your parents or your friends or your teachers, or any reptile, insect, fish, bird, or mammal in the whole wide world. 
So how do you get energy? Do you know? Yes, you have to eat plants. When you eat their leaves and their stems and their juices and when you eat their seeds and fruit and flowers, you eat the sun's energy, the sun's living life. And plants do even more than give you food. Remember how in photosynthesis, the green plants breathe out oxygen? What happens to that oxygen? Well, it fills the air all around us. I can't catch it, but I can breathe it. All the oxygen we, the living creatures, breathe comes from plants. Breathe in, take a moment. Feel the oxygen flow through your nose, your mouth, and all through your body. Oxygen is a gift from the plants to you. Your body uses oxygen together with the sugars from the plants. Your body burns them slowly to make the energy you use to move and grow and live. Without plants, you would have no oxygen. Without plants, we would have no food. Without plants, you could not live. Without plants, there would be no life on earth. Now breathe out. It is not oxygen that comes out when you exhale, when you use the sugars from the plants for energy, the sugars break apart inside your body, changing back into water and carbon dioxide. So now you breathe out carbon dioxide and the plants, they breathe it in. They will use it to build more sugar, food for themselves and other living things. So you see, life keeps circling around and around on your planet, Earth, through photosynthesis and through yourselves. You share life with everything alive. Look at these beautiful illustrations. So lay your hand on your heart and feel, feel the sun's light inside you. Now, hold the sun's light and make it live because you are living sunlight. Scholars, I hope that you are staying healthy and well. I miss you all so. And today, I would love for you to go and eat something living. Catch that sun's light inside you. I love you all. Bye-bye.